political candidates are worried tonight that their campaign flyers are not reaching voters. It turns out a computer glitch in Tallahassee is to blame, but the error could mean some voters were not reached in close races. West 2 political reporter Greg Fox is here with us live to sort this all out. So, Greg, does the mix-up mean voters won't be able to cast ballots? Absolutely not. The problem in a computer program had nearly 8,000 names of Orange County voters mistakenly left off of a list that is provided to the major political parties. And they used the list to send mailers like these to voters. And candidates we talked with are worried now. Some voters are getting little or no information about their races. You may not like the political flyers you get in the mail, but candidates depend on them. It is a big deal. Democrat Joe Saunders is the incumbent in House District 49 and just found out more than 500 voters in his district may not be on the latest mailing list that the major parties and candidate campaigns used to send brochures. As an incumbent, I've spent a lot of time working on education. I want people to know that. If they, if they don't know about the work that I've done, what reason do they have for uh, sending me back? This week, the Orange County Elections Office was notified that the State Division of Elections blamed a computer software problem that led to nearly 8,000 voters in Orange County being removed from the list because they were mistakenly classified under a category reserved for judges, police, firefighters, and others who qualify for confidentiality. In short, their addresses are kept secret from the parties and the candidates. And it's because of a software change that they made during the month of September, which then caused these individuals to not be on this vendor's list that he got in October. It's a problem. It's something that we need to get fixed right away. Republican uh, State Representative Eric Eisnagel's district had the most names and addresses dropped from the list, more than 1,700. He's hoping there's still time to get campaign information to those voters. I think the important thing here is that we find out what went wrong, and we get it fixed right away so that it doesn't happen again. Computer glitch involving these nearly 8,000 voters and their addresses will not in any way prevent Orange County voters from casting ballots by absentee early or at the polls on Election Day. Meredith? Greg, thank you. We can